I'm going to speak briefly about practical or complete holiness lifestyle of this ministry. In 2014, in 2014, when the Lord convicted my heart, he convicted my heart of so many worldliness, he called it so many worldliness as he put it to me and i'm going to give the scriptures out we're going to have a lesson on it because many people are confused with what to do and what not to do but we're going to talk about it we are going to talk about it now because the lord convicted me as a woman of god he said i should never go to his presence or usher myself into his presence with any fake false artificial whatever name you can give it hair so i beseech all the ladies both young middle and old women of this great ministry that we will start this practical lifestyle of complete holiness the lord said false hair I should remove and none of it will enter his kingdom and I'm going to give the scriptures that he gave me so that you my beloved sister if you are in any doubt if you are in any doubt I'm trying to get me the lesson for holiness I'm trying to pull it out here and I will talk about it briefly I don't want to waste my time isaiah chapter 45 verse 9 to 11 psalm 139 verse 14 jeremiah 13 verse 23 john 16 12 to 14 romans 8 14 hebrews 12 14 matthew 12 33 to 35 first peter 3 1 to 6 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 to 10. I'm going to put it out on the chat box for all the women in our ministry. I pray that you allow the Holy Spirit because those who yield to the Holy Spirit, they'll be able to let go all those things. Maybe your friends may be teasing you. You look a cake. You look colloquial. But believe you me, the things of this world is abominable unto God. And the things of God is weird unto man. And remember the Lord Jesus saying, the narrow path, only few people find it and walk on it. So one thing I want you to understand is that the broader path has everybody working on it everyone is working on the broader path almost everyone including pastors and pastors wives nobody should be your mentor or your yardstick aside jesus christ no human being died for you except jesus christ i am human i only say what i hear i make mistakes we all make mis mistakes the only one who has no mistake and no deception is our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 16, before he, he left, he said, I have so much to tell you, but you will not be able to handle it. But when the Holy Spirit come upon you, he will explain all things to you. So if a dear brother or a sister tell you that, show me where in the Bible, where it is written, that I shouldn't do this or that. Quote him that Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. And so in this end time, the Spirit of God is telling us that which will enter the kingdom of God, that which will not. This is not hardcore rules. This body, you will leave it on this earth. So you can bleach it all you can. The act of bleaching will take your soul to hell. But this body will rot here on this earth. So as a sensible wise, uh, a sensible child of God, what must you do? 
should you obey the feelings of this this uh bodily temple this bo uh, body that you are going to live on this earth or your soul that could spend eternal life in enjoyment with god and the lord jesus or eternal condemnation in hellfire the choice is yours i will enforce it wherever i stand but for you to practice it the choice is yours but i wash my hands of anybody who refused to obey what the holy spirit has been teaching us in this end time that all filthiness because he calls it filthiness because it is from the satanic camp he said any woman of god who put on all these fashionable things spiritually you become naked and no nakedness will stand before the lord though naked you came naked you you will return you will not go and appear before the lord naked you will be uh, endowed with uh, you you will have the your righteous garment on when you appear before god in paradise so nobody is going to heaven naked don't let the enemy deceive you. The things of this world is, you know, the pleasure in it, the comfortability in it, it it's, it's so cozy. You, uh, you, the temptation is so high. But the Lord said, I should warn all the women. When you surround yourself with women who are still worldly, and the enemy has given them scriptures to back their nonsense, is what the Lord told me. Their, their wickedness or their evil ways they will pers uh, persuade you and they will lure you back into the lifestyle that you used to be in remember psalm 1 verse 1 says blessed is the man who walketh not nor sit in the counsel of what the ungodly or the mockers so the lord said we can associate by saying hello hi but to 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 stay on the phone hours Chatting with people who can make us go back to the world. It is very deadly for you as a saint of God. It is very deadly for you as a child of God. When the Lord called Apostle Paul, he didn't confer with the world anymore. He didn't wait for the approval of man. He went straight to Arabia where the Lord Jesus himself appeared before him, appeared and showed him great and deeper understanding of the scriptures. No wonder Apostle Paul was able to write great, big, strong books for Christ. And he was able to uh, raise a lot of churches by our fruit. They will know us. Jesus said in Matthew 12, verse 33 to 35, he said, make a tree, a tree good and its fruit will be good. But make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad. He said, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. If your heart is filled with lust, your, your appearance is lustful. He said the women who dress with half their breast showing, half their back showing, half their thigh showing, the spirit of lust is, is filled or has entered their hearts. And that is what is demonstrating outside. And so they might think they are smart in Christ and the enemy has given them, listen, the devil knows the scripture. And that is why when he went to Jesus in Matthew 4, he said, for it is written, he will cause, he will keep his angels charge over you so that you will not strike your foot. If he didn't know the scripture, he could never have quoted Jesus that scripture. So know that those who don't want to repent, the enemy has given them scriptures to back any wickedness they are doing. Even those who are drinking alcohol have, have scriptures that says that they should drink. A lady uh, commented on one of the videos I made about her. He said, should I have dreadlocks? And I said, be led by the Holy Spirit. Somebody came quickly and comment. Yes, Samson even had uh, uh, dreadlocks. So you can also have. Is your name called Samson? No. Are you a man? No. You are a woman. So why would you use Samson who had a special assignment not to cut the hair? As your excuse as a woman to have dreadlocks. See the mind of how. And the Lord, he said, looks at us 
look at how our our wisdom which is foolishness before him according to first corinthians chapter one the wisdom of this world is foolishness unto god so we're going to have time with the women about this and in all localities you must let them know that in this ministry out of the abundance of our heart which is the doctrine of our lord jesus it must show in our appearance so you might be coming from another ministry where they are telling you something else. I cannot answer for that minister of God. But I know who has who have called me. And this is the caution from the Lord. We are ready to go to heaven. I don't know about you. But I extend a warm hand to you. That come join us. Together we will make heaven. With determination. If you are weak, I am here. If I am weak, I am going to call someone. Let us hold each other's hand. So that together we can make heaven. It is not going to come from our own hard work. But at least we must put in some effort. And with the help of the Holy Spirit. And the power of the Holy Spirit. We shall overcome that which is our weakness. In our body.